Okay everybody, welcome to linuxhint.com YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to show you that how you can install Jenkins on your Ubuntu 19.04. So the idea is that in order to install Jenkins, you have to have a JDK. So the latest version of JDK is uh, JDK 12 at the time of the making of uh, this video. So there are total in total six commands that we are going to use. Um, and I'm gonna put all these six commands in the description so you can actually um, copy them from there so do not worry about it so first of all as we always do in order to install Jenkins obviously we're gonna do that through our terminal okay so we will open up our terminal we'll press ctrl alt T as we always do uh, let me zoom in a little bit and in here uh, first of all the first command that we're gonna use is for installing jdk okay so we just copy it okay and then we go here and we paste it so here uh, it is going to ask us for the password so i'm just gonna give here my password so now you can see that it has started to read the package and now you can see that it is asking us do you want to continue so press y because yes we want to continue so it would take like 453 megabytes of additional space on the disk so it means that um, the size of the JDK 12 is around uh, 453 megabytes okay so we shall wait until it gets it done okay so once it is installed uh, you can basically check that if the Java is installed or not in two fundamental ways one is that you write here java c you hit enter and if you get all sorts of these results and you have not got any error it means that the java has been installed successfully there is another way that if you want to check the version of java then basically you write here java c and then you write here hyphen version okay then you hit enter and then you can see here java c 12.0.2 okay this is the latest version of Java that we have just installed. All right. So now let's go to the next command. So now we would install nginx. Uh, you can install any uh, server that you want. You you might install Apache. Okay. It totally depends upon you. So now we just clear it and now we just save it here. Uh, excuse me. We paste it and then we hit enter uh, it is going to ask us for the password so now you can see that it says do you want to continue so i press y yes i want to continue uh, and now it would basically download it fetch it and then install it all right so we shall wait okay so now nginx has been installed so now what we have got to do let me just clear it and let's go ahead and let's see what is the next command okay so now we want to download the Jenkins package okay so for that we have this uh, command all right so we'll just simply copy it and we come here and then we paste it we hit enter and basically you can see that it says okay all right so there is no error uh, with this third command as well so now we we'll basically use this fourth command and we we'll just copy it and we would paste it to install the stable uh, package so we'll just go here to our command line or our terminal and in here uh, we we'll try to paste it but one thing that you need to make sure that all of it uh, should be uh, part of one line okay uh, if you would basically uh, you know paste it like that it would consider it on the next line and then it may cause some sort of error okay so make sure that you copy it in one line okay so we just basically copy it and we'd go to our terminal and we paste it right here so we hit enter and now you can see that uh, there are no errors and it has basically created these uh, file on this uh, this jenkins.list file on this path all right so now uh, what we're going to do now finally we are going to install Jenkins 
So first of all, uh, we're gonna update the, our repository. So we'd write here sudo app get update. So we hit enter and it would start to update our repository. And uh, once it updates our repository, uh, then we would start to install Jenkins on our Ubuntu system, okay? So now once it is done, now what you have to do is that you have to uh, copy and paste this command sudo apt get install Jenkins all right so you come here and you basically paste it right here so you hit enter and now you can see that it says it would take the additional disk space of 78.6 megabytes do you want to continue so press y yes we want to continue so now it would take a while to install Jenkins on this system basically okay so now you can see that we have installed jenkins successfully okay so now what we're gonna do that we're gonna go to our browser and in here what we are gonna do is that we either we're gonna write here 127.0.0.1 uh, or we can write here localhost and then colon and then the port 8080 okay so when you hit enter uh what would happen that it would start the jenkins process so here you can see that it says unlock jenkins to ensure jenkins is securely set up by the administrator a password has been written to the log and this file on the server okay so what you have to do is that you need to copy this okay and uh, after that uh, you need to go back to your terminal and let me just clear it all right so you have to write here cat and then simply you need to paste the file name here okay but just before that you have to write here sudo so that it is you know you're giving it the administrative uh, permission to open this file which is initial admin password so you hit enter it is going to ask you for the password uh, and you can see here this is the admin password okay this is the uh, please copy the password from either location and paste it below so this is the administrator password that we have fetched from this file okay so we'll just simply copy it we come here and we paste here the administrator password and we click on continue okay so when we continue it would take us to a setup wizard so now here on this page you would see two options select plugins to install or you can also install suggested plugins so i'll go with this one i will click on install suggested plugins and you can see here uh, here we have all the suggested plugins and now it would take a while to install the suggested plugins so we will wait okay so now after installing the basic plugins uh, it would take you to a page something like this where you can put in your username let's say linux hint you can put here your password and then you can confirm the password uh, you can write here your full name and then you can write here your email address okay at yap.com so we basically uh, save and continue okay so you click on it it would take you to a page something like this instance configuration you can change the port here if you want to so we basically save and finish and you can see that it says jenkins is ready okay so now you click here start using jenkins and now you would get to a page something like this so this is your jenkins uh, dashboard here you can basically create new jobs or new item okay uh, it's the same so if i click on it pre create new jobs here you can see that i have different uh, you know i have several options so let's say i want to create here um, a job so i call it job one and this is a freestyle project and now i would basically click on ok and that's how you basically create a new job okay so there are several other options in jenkins that you can also work on uh, we'll create a video on that hopefully in the future as well so that's it for now i hope you have enjoyed it you have learned something new 
Uh, for written articles, you can visit our website linuxin.com and I will see you in the next video.